Hi, welcome to Jeff's musical car in Moncton, and this week I have Ali Walker. Thanks for coming along. Ooh, I'm so happy to be here on the East Coast. Moncton. I know. I, well, originally I'd seen you're from Toronto, and then as I read further, I realized you're from PEI, and then I just grew happy knowing that it's a <laughs> it's like this maritime bond. Whenever oh, we, yeah. we see another maritime or someone succeeding, it's like oh, go it's, us. I'm so glad that I have like that separate East Coast audience because they're so supportive, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's really nice to. See and I it's great to be back in Moncton I used to come here every weekend as a kid playing sports and whatnot yeah. so I feel like I know my way around and Crystal Palace it's changed quite a bit though I know Crystal Palace is not here anymore I, I know that that still <laughs> makes me sad so you left um, the island went to Toronto at the young age of 19 yes. took a chance um, took a how scary was that just dove right in. I moved to Toronto with literally my guitar and a suitcase mm -hmm. and had nowhere to live. I lived on a girl's floor for like two days and she was like, okay, you gotta go. And then um, I just walked up and down Toronto trying to find somewhere to live and finally found a place. And then now I have a husband and <laughs> I live in Hamilton, which is like an hour away. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've got like my whole life in Ontario. It's pretty crazy. So yeah. I've been there for 10 years almost. Have you found a pretty good um, balance between music, family life? Does it kind of work for you now? My life is all music, pretty much, because my yeah. husband is my producer. He, I needed, I was pretty green when I moved to Toronto, so I, he got my feet really, really well. Yeah, yeah. In had good industry. connections, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, connections, but also I just needed to slug it out. Like I was playing in all the bars, I was playing, I, I mean, I still do a bit, um, and you know, going down to Nashville, writing with people, and just really, I needed a lot of development. So it's been 10 years of that, and mm -hmm. finally, putting music out and yeah. being really finding who I was as an artist was a whole process too and um, it's so much more rewarding now though because I just feel like I really figured it all out and put my work in and put my mm -hmm. many many thousands of hours in that it's very rewarding now to put music out that I really believe in and that my husband and I have done together from the ground up so it's pretty cool nice yeah. and, and you're finally in just musical care like I'm here! I love it. <laughs> so let's go right into the music. Um, what song did you decide to play today? I am playing Raise Your Head and it's all about keeping your head held high and knowing that the journey that you're on now is you know the path that you should be on and you can be proud of your journey even if it's not exactly what you thought it was going to be. All right, let's yeah. hear the bumpy Jeff's musical car <laughs> pothole We're in season traffic rendition. Right now, so it's I know. Okay. Yeah, it's, I'm liking this. Yeah, this I'm used to this Toronto traffic. All right, let's do this it. This is raise your head. Everybody says it.
<laughs> Love it. Thank you. What's some um, fun things you do when you get to go back home? Are there some go-to spots you need to hit when you're back in PA? Well, cow's ice cream. Oh yeah, for of sure. Of course. And like five times. Um, I am like such a tourist that I love doing like going to the beach or just doing something yeah. new. Um, I'll be like probably shooting a music video while I'm here. Um, yeah, just hanging out with family. I only see my family like two or three times a year. So just hanging out with them. My parents live on the water. It's super beautiful. So oh, nice. Like, fireside chats. You yeah. Know. Yeah. It'd be a good, good place to just regroup and kind yeah. of gather your thoughts. And I know a big part of your message too is mental health, mindfulness. So, I mean, yeah. you can't get any better than that right there. Oh, for sure. And it depends whether the whole family there is there or not though. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah. My sister's got four kids and I love seeing them, but you definitely don't get any kind of, yeah, that's uh, not a Zen zone. It's for not sure. a Zen zone, but when it's just, you know, my parents, yeah, we get to relax and hang out. And as soon as you hit the East coast, there's a different vibe. Like my energy just changes. I'm way more relaxed. The first time my husband came here, he I was like, are you okay? <laughs> He's like, I am like freakishly zen here. But it's true. I mean, the city's so busy in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah, I love it here. That's great. Well, hopefully we'll see you back uh, many more times to come on tour and um, loving the music and keep up the good work. Oh, thank you so much. I love this. And thank you for doing this. And having a platform for artists to come chat with you. I love it. And it's, I mean, I like anything that's new and interesting, you know? Yeah, for sure. So uh, enjoy the rest of your tour and um, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.